What is God's will? Well, Jesus said it. To believe on his son whom he has sent. What is the will of God? To believe on his son whom he has sent. What is the will of God? To believe on his son whom he has sent. That's it. That's God's will. And then after you do that, the Holy Spirit will work through you. You don't have to really do anything. You, the only thing you have to do is renew your mind and be have a willing heart, you know. Seek the truth. Want more truth. But once you, once you believe on His Son, the Holy Spirit in you is going to start doing the work, the sanctification. Because really, without Him, you can do nothing. God does it all. But God has to work on your heart because you're born in this system of lies and deceptions and Decepticons and it's so bad it's not even fun. So anyway, what is the will of God? To believe on His Son whom He has sent. Just Google the verse. Just Google it. To what is God's will? To believe on His Son. Just Google it. It's right there. Everybody wants to go back under law and works and levels and ranks and grades and rating. That's the AI program. You want to try to be good enough to please God. Well, God is only happy with Jesus. You can't be good enough. He'll never be good enough. What's God's will? To believe on His Son, whom He has sent. Period. That's it. All the other stuff will come after. All the other stuff will just happen because it's a growth process. It's really that easy, people. But the devil wants you to believe it's hard. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really hard. You'll never, unless you're good enough, unless you can keep some kind of rule. You gotta keep some kind of law or rule or some kind of system or you got to do some kind of tradition or you got to have some kind of emotion or you got to make sure you never miss a day at church. You better read your Bible. The rule-based living is the flesh mind. The spirit walk is love and truth. Just, it's really that easy. I mean, I wish it was, I wish it was more clear than that, but it's not. But most people will reject it. Because the first thing that came to their mind, well, if it's that easy, you're just going to choose to sin. You're nothing, your flesh is nothing but sin. I already know what your answer is before you answer. Because there's nothing new. There's no new argument. That's the Pharisees. The Pharisees, Jesus said, I am that I am. Believe on me. They couldn't. Because they were so caught up in the traditions of the system and the laws and the rules that they couldn't just believe. It can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. It's easy for you because Jesus took the hard road for you. Jesus became sin for you. That's why it's easy for you. All you have to do is appropriate it by faith. But you don't think it's that easy because your pride, your pride, you think you got to be good enough, which you can't. You can never be good enough, ever. That's why they're going to burn in hell forever, because they try to be good enough. It's really easy. Just enter in by faith. Abraham believed God, and it was counted for righteousness' sake. Not of works, lest any man should boast. See, the reason you don't want to admit that it's that easy is because you want to boast about how good you are. The Bible tells you your heart, your pride. You think you can be it. You think you can be it. You think you can be Jesus on earth. Watch out. He that think he stands, take heed lest he falls.